much as he has thoughts on their past. Great operation. Yeah. That's that's the the one thing that stands out right now is a great operation. They're they're clicking on a lot of cylinders and they're playing with a lot of confidence. So I mean, uh, their quarterback is obviously playing lights out. Chris Polk has been a great running back in this league for the last four years, and all of their receivers have been great receivers, and they've added a couple of new weapons. So I mean, their their offense is really clicking right now. Who, who so far has kept you guys the most honest in terms of like the run pass balance? I mean, to tell you the truth, there's not just been one team to stick out the most. I mean, there's different teams that have done a lot of different things on this. Some teams try to just run out the clock more, try to keep the ball out of our offensive hands. And a lot of other teams are just trying to score as fast as they can and, you know what I'm saying, try to try to keep up with our offense. So, I mean, I feel like Washington's probably going to be more the latter of the two, try to keep up with our offense because, uh, I mean, that's just I feel like they're not going to try to change their game plan. And they try to score fast, and I feel like that's what they're going to keep trying to do. So do they, are they aggressive on offense, or are you just talking about tempo? Um, they're, I mean, so they're aggressive on offense. Obviously, that Chris Polk, and he's going to get a, he's going to get his fair touch of ball, whether it be handing it off to him or throwing it to him out of the backfield. And they also throw the ball deep, and they'll throw the ball the intermediate pass. So, I mean, they just they just want to score. They look to score. You got to see Keith Price last year here filling in for Walker. Talk about him and what he does. Um, I feel like seeing him last year when he was kind of thrown into – the game is a total different than he is now. Right now he's playing lights out. Like I said, he's, leading, he's in the top of the nation in touchdown passes. Barely throws any interceptions. I mean, what a couple of them probably weren't even his fault. And I mean, he's just he's playing really well and he has a, he's, he has a lot of talent around him. So he's going to be a, a really good quarterback. One of those guys is Curse. Uh, you may go up against him. Talk about facing off against Curse. Um, we played against each other for like the last, what, three, four years now. So Curse is a great receiver. All of them are Aguilar. I mean, they added the new freshmen. There's, they're all over the place. They, they can th spread the rock anywhere, you know. What are you going to tell the, the younger guys about the atmosphere at Husky Stadium? I mean, it's going to be like the Rebots game. Everybody come in here, and they feel like we have the advantage. And when you go up to Washington, they're going to feel like they have that advantage, especially it being their last game in that stadium. And it's already a sold-out crowd. It's going to be a, a great uh, place to play. This rivalry used to be so heated. Talk about it now. There seems to be more of a mutual admiration between these two teams. Um, I mean, the... I mean, it's college football, every every game we're out there ready to win. We don't go out there, you know what I'm saying, look at any team different than any other team. We're just out there to compete and, you know, win games. That's it.